That's right, son. Feel that 8-bit chunky music. This game has an old dude on the box, and that's fantastic. So we're gonna play chess, and you might be thinking, my god, bore me further. But shut up! You don't know about the Chess Master on the NES. 1986, 87, 88, and 89. When somebody gets checkmate, it plays the funeral march, and that scared the crap out of me as a kid. This is one of those old school games that my dad had, and we used to play it together. It's how I first learned how to play chess. And on that note, there's some really cool stuff. We'll skip the music. Um, I'm going to move this pawn up two, because all pawns can move two spaces from their starting position. And the easy AI almost always does that. Now, if I press select here, at any point you could change the sides if you want to play as the black pieces or whatever. You could change it to a human player. And level of play is newcomer one. That's the default. There's 16 difficulty levels, and I've heard people say even the hardest isn't that hard on here, because it is old AI. But I don't know, I'm fine with Newcomer 1. Sometimes it actually is challenging, because I'm not the best. But it has this cool teaching mode, which I'll turn on for anybody who doesn't know how the pieces of chess move. That's how I learned. Probably the most complicated is the knight, which my dad always taught me it was 1, 2, and over. It's an L shape. But you don't have to go one, two first. You could go one and then the remaining two over, which is still an L shape, but yeah. We might want to think about that, but let's anticipate him to be dumb and set him up to take this pawn. So I'm going to move this one up one instead of two. How does it taste? Okay, now he's going to... Let's test his stupidity. A bishop is a very good piece. He doesn't want to lose that, but I could take it next turn. And I'm going to because he... Didn't realize. Alright, so now, the next thing, he doesn't have his green tiles protected by a bishop. That's amazing. But this queen is a problem. The queen is the best piece in chess. It can go all directions. The entire board straight across, down, up, and diagonal. So he can come all the way diagonal green and put me in check if these two pawns weren't here, and that's kind of the plan. I want to move this pawn up too. He's going to take it, probably. Yep. So now, immediate instinct would be capture his pawn, because pawns capture at a diagonal. That's the only way they could capture. But as soon as I do that, it's his turn, and he's going to put me in check. And that's a crappy spot for his queen to be, because I can't do anything about it. So, let's take our knight. One, two, and over. So that means his next move would be one, two, and over. That's just how I think of it. So that's right where he'd be sitting, so he's probably not going to move there. And the pawn can't take me because it can't capture straight ahead. How does it taste? Oh, yeah, he's going to do that, though, isn't he? Well, that's fine. I could capture him. But what does that do? The danger is his bishop on white, which bishops move at diagonals. So he could come all the way down here. No, you know what he's going to do? He's going to stop right here and threaten my knight. But that's stupid, too. He won't go further than that because he knows if he takes my knight, this queen, which can move anywhere, it can't go all the way because my knight's blocking. But, yeah, whatever. I'm just taking this. Let's see what he does. He's moving that bishop. No, he's not. Sometimes he just dances with the king back there. And, I mean, why wouldn't you? He's a swell dude. Um... So, yeah, the left side's all cluttered here. We could do something. We could take our bishop out. Problem is, I, I could put him in check. But that's kind of a wasted move. If I put it here, next move I take his king. So he's in check. He's got to do something to get out of there. But if I move here, he takes me. And there's nothing. Well, I could take him with my rook then. Oh, uh, See, we got options. I don't know. Let's just move some pieces. Let's get this knight out. So I say let's attack the... Well, the right side is weaker, but... Set up the horse to... Yeah, let's do that. And here he goes. There's that move that I was anticipating. So he's not going to do anything about it, though. But I see what he's doing. He's tempting me to bring this rook, which is all the way across horizontal and up here, to 
to threaten this, but if I do that, he takes me with his queen. But would he, though? To lose a rook for a queen, that's not the worst thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. And he's not doing it, so now he's just free reign, and he doesn't have a single bishop. How does it taste? It just sounds like that to me. All right, so now he's going to bring out the knights, and since they are that weird L shape, they're the piece that could sometimes do something if you're not paying attention. For example, um... Well, see, this is tempting. Look at all the pawns I could take with this knight. But if I go here, he takes me with his rook. If I go here, he takes me with his queen. If I go here, he takes me with his queen. Or No, he'll take me with a pawn. So that thing has just got to stay put. Oh, he's threatening my rook. See, the obvious thing. One, two, and over, and I lose one of the most valuable pieces. But he's going to go for the pawn. Yeah, I gotta move the rook. There's no way around it. I'm gonna lose this pawn, probably, but I could attack this middle thing, and he can't do anything this turn about that. Yep, saw that coming. So now, knowing how this thing moves, he could go for this pawn over here, or this pawn. But if he goes for this pawn... My queen gets him. Heck, the king could get him. So I could threaten him with the bishop. Um, I think that's the way to go. Let's do it. Ah, that's smart. So now I would be tempted to just take that, but he's going to take me with his pawn. So, we're in one of those weird situations again. Um, I gotta move these pawns out, is what's gonna happen. But see, the problem is this thing is deadlocked now. I can move, actually, so move the queen, threaten it this way. Um,. That doesn't really help much, because it's the same story if I take it. I don't want to lose my queen. I don't really care if I lose a bishop so much. But... How threatening would it be to lose a knight and have his queen be right here all of a sudden? These are the things you have to think about. Actually, let's just tempt him with this. The obvious move. Oh, I wasn't even looking at that. Yeah, see? The game of chess. You always got to be like five moves ahead. That was dumb. Who's the novice here? The real new... I am on newcomer one now. Well, okay. We'll take his pawn. See what he does with his queen. Yep. That's actually bad. Because this thing can go everywhere. So, my knight is now screwed. But also not really. He could go for my bishop, but that's stupid because then it's my turn and I take his queen with mine. And he's at a severe disadvantage. So, this knight has to move, and the only obvious move is right here, which puts his queen in check, which is not a thing, but that means I'm taking his queen next turn if he doesn't move it. If not, and there's something else I could do, I could take his rook on the left, and there's nothing he could do with any of these pieces. Ah, uh, that is bad. Didn't, yeah, see, that's one of those things. That was like three moves ahead of where my brain was thinking, because now one, two, and over, and my queen is dead. So, if I go all the way up, he takes me with his rook. If I go here, I'm safe. But it has absolutely no effect on anything. 
And if I go here, here, or here, I'm taken by either the queen or the pawn. So the only other move is to maybe go... Yeah, I, I know exactly what he's going to do. I'm going to move this out of the way. He's going to put me in check with his queen. That's fine. I hope. I hope I'm not missing something here. Let's just do this. Now, what does this mean? He's really got me screwed, but this is going to put him in check, so he's forced to... That's... Wait! That's the end of the game, I think. Oh, no, yeah, because it could go on diagonals. I always forget that the king can do that. Yeah. I got all excited, man. So, he's got a choice. Crap, he's got a good choice, too. All he has to do is come here. And he puts me in check, forcing me to move this. I don't really have anything I could do. Just wait to see what he takes. And in the meantime, I could take his rook, I think. Unless I'm missing something obvious, which could be the case. Okay. So I have to move the king. There's nothing I could do. Yeah, he's going to clean sweep me with that stupid queen, man. Got to anticipate him to be dumber. He's not going to take this pawn because I get him with my knight. So he's going to systematically come this way. So he's either going to move one over and then attack the rook and come in this way, which would be smart. But he is the easiest difficulty. If he comes straight down here, I get him. Actually, no, that wouldn't be smart, because if he moves here, I get him. He can't get to me. Yeah, he's kind of stuck. The problem is this stupid bishop would be nice to have, but I locked myself in. Well, not necessarily. I could move the pawn up. But we don't want to do that, because then that makes my attack less. So we'll move this back. Or what could we do with the queen, even? Now let's just do that. So, we could go here, be safe from everything. He is in check, and I take his queen next turn because he has no choice. How's it taste? Alright, we got the victory now. It's just making it happen. That queen, dude. So, hmm, what to move first? Get the queen up here. Oh, wow, we could go all the way. Well, we don't want to do that because then I'll get me with my rook. We'll go in the middle of these two pawns, be safe. And, uh, yeah, just start there. He's probably just going to dance around with that for a while. Now he's in check. He's going to... Oh, I thought he was going to go back one. Okay, get him in check again, and he's kind of in a tight spot now. But, yeah, this rook is saving his back row, playing defense. So let's just move this pawn so we can start moving that bishop finally. The bishop is ready to attack the rook, so he's going to move it. Um, yeah. He's going to move it over one. Oh, he's going to go for my knights, and there's nothing I could do about that. That wise guy. Actually, yes, there is. And he's not doing it anyway. Okay, well. Goodbye. So yeah, this is pretty much the game here.
So this thing can move one in all of the adjacent directions. The horse must not be stupid, though. Let's t get ready to attack, and I think we're safe there. Lose a bishop just to... Well, actually, no. Let's go up. He's in check. Oh, that's checkmate. Okay. Yeah, that noise scared the crap out of me. I know it's the funeral march, and it's so common. But why is that checkmate? I think it can... It shows you. You defeated the chess master. Now try not being stupid. Yeah, it lets you look and review it. So, okay. He can't go this way. Why can't he go here? Because he, the horse gets him. This guy, one, two, and over. Why can't he go down? The bishop gets him. He can't go over because he's blocked in. So, yeah, he's screwed. How's it taste? You ain't got nothing. Chess master, my plot. I don't know. Well, yeah, it wasn't the best played, but... Oh, chess can be fun sometimes could keep going all you do is press select and uh begin a new game but i won't bore you i know i do gotta hear the music again though i mean it's not the most exciting thing well yeah there's only a, one other game i know that has an old man on the box cover and that's phalanx or something like that on the Super Nintendo, which I did have uh, that as well. But that's harder. That's like Gradius kind of. Or R-type. Super R-type. And it's really hard. So I don't know. But you gotta get playing these games with the old man boxes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.